I am a painter of mostly faces, um, not just portraits, but I capture the emotion. I've always been really creative and art kind of runs in my family um, and I had raised my kids and was interested in the community ed class. Started with watercolor for about four years and that was a love-hate relationship. And then about six years ago, took my first oil painting class with Myron Selberg. Never looked back. I've been getting awards and just it, it, the way that it works is how my brain works. You go dark to light and I just love oil painting. From day one, I like contrast. I like the strong light and darks. It's the emotion that I love to capture. So as soon as I painted an oil, you go dark to light, and you can get these intense colors, and I can, I can dig through to find the little nuances so much easier, and I, it was like coming home when I came to oil painting. The first painting I completed was a portrait of my daughter and uh, that took an award right away through uh, the American Federation for Advertising in St. Cloud and I've never looked back. A lot of times when I see a face that I want to paint, there's, there's some emotion that they're showing on their face or they're, let it, they're being vulnerable so I can get in and I can find this and I can bring it out in a different way. Sometimes it's someone who has really strong features and it just looks intriguing to paint. Um, sometimes it's just how the light is hitting something and it just the light and the shadows just excite me and so then I want to do that. A lot of times it's to show people that everything can be beautiful. It doesn't matter what you think of yourself or an object, it can be beautiful. I think I'm just a feeler and my way of expressing it is visually through the art. And I think I connect to people who are hurting. And so I bring their emotion out and help them deal with that maybe as a way of just healing. Oil painting is like having um, piles of butter that you tint with different colors and then you have your brushes of course that are all different varieties of, of uh, softness and each artist finds their own but it's like you dip that brush in that butter and it's almost like finger painting when you're in kindergarten it's just this wonderful uh, response of the canvas you're painting on the brushes you're pushing this paint around and then when you capture something that no one has done before or seen before or you can show people the world from your own view. It's just a way of creating and letting my heart out and to share it. I love being in rural Minnesota. I grew up on a farm in South Dakota and so I love the country, I love the small, I love uh, just the people that you meet and knowing um, everyone. I love the lakes and so the advantages of being here is you know, I, I can teach people things that they can't get otherwise and um, reach people that maybe would never be able to see that they have a gift in art. So currently I have a show of a full body of work at 6th Avenue Wine and Ale here in Alexandria. And that is the first complete full body of work that I've done. It's 13 paintings and they're all 30 by 40. So they're all pretty good size. It is a large face, each person, and it's, it's half dark and it's half lit. So it's very strong with lights and shadows. And it's called Listen, A Silent Conversation. And it's about you know, everyone nowadays is so stuck in their phone or some kind of media, and so it's about having connection with the eye. So the focus is on the eye, 
Um, I have an age range from I think 12 or 13 years old up to about in the 70s, uh, male, female, all different uh, races. When I painted each person, I asked them, what do you want people to most understand about you? And so each one has an answer that's posted next to their painting. So as you, you look at this painting and you have this connection to this eye, because remember, I'm about emotion and the connection of it. And um, you see that, you read the answer that they have, you look at it again, and it's almost like you're getting to know someone, you're connecting. The great thing about the show is everyone that I've painted is from this community or has had business in this community. So it's another way of showing who you're living with. You know, it's, it's, we all make up this rural community. We all make up family, kind of, in a way, and we're all connected. And it's just a great way of um, coming to know people. When I started painting about uh, six years ago, I never would have dreamt where I am now. Uh, because of the awards, I've been in an international show six times, I've taken awards at that twice. I've taken awards that no other artists have gotten before. So I've been very blessed. Where it goes, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just let, I'll do the work, but I'll let things happen as they need to. Um, I would like to grow it. I love to do commission works. So I do a lot of commissions for people but I love it especially when they let me get in there and they're vulnerable and, and let me just show their emotion. Visit pioneer.org slash postcards to catch up on missed episodes and to find out more about your favorite segments. This program on Pioneer Public Television is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008. Additional support provided by Mark and Margaret Yakel juline in honor of Shalom Hill Farm, a nonprofit rural education retreat center in a beautiful prairie setting near Wyndham in southwestern Minnesota. ShalomHillFarm.org. The Arrowwood Resort and Conference Center your ideal choice for Minnesota resorts, offering luxury townhomes, 18 holes of golf, Darling Reflection Spa, Big Splash Water Park, and much more. Alexandria, Minnesota. Explore hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for a great vacation or a place to hold an event. ExploreAlex.com. Tri-State Brain and Spine Institute. With locations in Alexandria, Edina, Crookston, and Maple Grove. Doctors dedicated to evaluating and treating all types of brain and spine problems, no matter how complex.